This is the news. Welcome to the semi-daily night show. Let's get started. Joe Rogan, the host of Call Her Daddy for Men, is in more hot water, and he seems to be handling it better than that time. Someone went through 12 years of the podcast host conversations and cut up a compilation of taking a certain word out of context. And the same people who thought they solved racism by posting a black square are enraged. Surprising. CNN, which struggles to get it up, I'm talking about ratings, has been reposting old content with different titles in hopes of more clicks. Speaking of shady business tactics, the Olympics. The host of the country of the Olympics has placed beautiful snow runs next to shut down factories? Which has the PR team of Greta Thunberg finally inspired to write again. Well, at least after the season of Euphoria is over. Cass, please ruin my life. But there is someone who's lost motivation. Putin. And now seems Putin was all flex and very good pecs. Russian troops are withdrawing from their positions, but we still aren't fully sure of this plan. Which is the opposite of Mr. Blackface. I mean, Mr. Trudeau. Canada's Prime Minister has declared an emergency and frozen all bank accounts of the Freedom Truckers convoy. Which means our Amazon packages are going to be even later. While on the topic of governments abusing their power, the CIA. People who breathe through their mouths and watch corporate media are just now learning that the CIA is spying on them. Senators have revealed documents proving the CIA is spying on Americans. CIA also saw you get left on red last night. So unfortunately, 